Hey guys, it's Dr. Daniel Sugai. I'm a board certified dermatologist here in the Seattle area. Today, we're gonna to talk about an awesome brand, CeraVe, and two popular products that I recommend to my patients on a near daily basis. I see medical, surgical, cosmetic patients on a daily basis in my busy practice. I see 30 plus patients a day. I love my job. Definitely gonna keep continuing to see patients despite being on social media heavily nowadays. And I'm having a great time doing both roles. And it's great to just have this really genuine, authentic interaction with my patients who I've been seeing for the last seven plus years and then also being able to interact with you guys here online so my life so life is good right so I deal with a lot of rosacea acne rosacea acne nodulous cystic acne in clinic and so patients are always wondering what will work well with my topical prescription medications or even oral medications if you have acne rosacea or acne you might be on oral medications whether it's an oral antibiotic spironolactone for hormonal acne or even isotretinoin or vitamin A derivative medication for really bad cystic, so really severe nodulous cystic acne. So topical medications though, they can be quite drying as you guys know. We wanna dry out those oil glands. So the acne is, uh, it all starts from the hair follicle and you get bacteria that feeds on sebum and it causes inflammation. You get this infection in the hair follicle leading to acne. So I give these prescription medications that target oil at times, they can dry things out and it can just target bacteria as well, like the oral the topical antibiotics which can be drying and so what can we use so I like to talk about moisturizers in clinic and cleansers in clinic for my patients who are going to get dry so CeraVe today today we're going to talk about the difference between the AM and the PM moisturizing lotions now you're going to go to Target your local drugstore Amazon and you're scrolling through and you're like why do they have two similar looking products here by CeraVe and they're all over the place CeraVe is a very popular brand they make very gentle products for my patients with sensitive skin or patients who are on very strong topical medications that are causing some irritation or dryness. So I will give out samples of CeraVe's for them to try before they go to the store and purchase them. CeraVe is a very affordable brand. So you can get them for, you know, 15 to $30 for these products, whether it's the moisturizing cream, which is in that jar, you can get it at Costco in a two for one, and they might even have a pump. And there's also the moisturizing lotion, which is in a pump, which is very popular for people who don't want to deal with a jar. They just want to pump it out and get it right onto their skin is a little bit more lightweight great for the summer when you're sweaty and then the jar is good for winter now these are for the face so you don't want to buy this and use it all over your body because it's you're going to run through it very quickly three fluid ounces for the am and then the pm here i got the two fluid ounces let's just go through them individually so the CeraVe am facial moisturizing lotion is spf 30 it has zinc oxide which covers uva one and two so longer wavelengths of uva and then also uvb and it has has four chemical UV filters. So this is a hybrid. So you have a lightweight texture to it. Zinc oxide alone as a sunscreen can be quite thick and pretty white casting. So we have these lighter chemical UV filters mixed in. This can be used as your sunscreen for the day, but if you want it to layer on, um, it's gonna be a long day in some pretty intense heat within the hot zones of 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. You might wanna consider layering another sunscreen on top of this. But if you use enough of it, say a quarter teaspoon amount just for your face or a half teaspoon amount for your face ears and neck that is adequate coverage to get the SPF 30 in this so the uh, AM facial moisturizing lotion of course you do it during the day you have the ceramides so CeraVe is known for their three essential ceramides there are hundreds of ceramides out there but they chose three essential ceramides that are identical to the ceramides that are native to our skin so that when we have these holes in our skin barrier, the skin barrier being the top layer of skin, it's our first line of defense to keep all the bad microbes and dirt and pollutants and allergens out and keeping moisture in. If you get holes punched into it, you do a very fragrant soap. Say you do Irish Spring and Irish Spring or using too many topical ingredients that are breaking up your skin barrier. CeraVe has these ceramides that will fit into those holes because our skin is used to those ceramides. And so it's skin identical ceramides that they have in their products. And that's the Cera part of CeraVe. Niacinamide is also in it and hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid is a humectant that draws in water. 
water. It is naturally found in our skin as a humectant, but if you add it in, supposedly it does draw in a lot of water, holds a lot of water into your skin. And then you have the ceramides to keep the skin barrier intact, so a lot of that moisture doesn't evaporate. So they're, they work well together, ceramides and hyaluronic acid. You have hydration, plus you keep your skin barrier intact to keep that hydration in the skin. Niacinamide is vitamin B3, and I love niacinamide in my products. One of my favorite cleansers being La Roche-Posay. Their foaming cleanser has niacinamide in it. Retinols, you know, one of my favorite retinoids. It's skin Better Science. Alpha Ret, this here has niacinamide in it, and that just helps brighten the skin, but also help regulate sebum production. So when I recommend something for my patients with acne, I want niacinamide a lot of times, so that it doesn't clog up the pores, it keeps the oil down. So this has niacinamide. So the order of which to apply this would be cleanse your face, say with La Roche-Posay's foaming cleanser, or you could do CeraVe's hydrating cleanser if you're very dry, whereas this is good for combination skin. If you have an oily T-zone like myself, oily here on the forehead, the nose, the chin, dry in the cheekbones, you can go ahead and use that foaming cleanser. Then after that, you can put on a hydrating serum like hyaluronic acid or do a vitamin C serum if you wanna brighten your skin you have problems with hyperpigmentation. Then you can follow up with this or you can moisturize and then do this, but this has it all there. Some moisturizer with SPF, so SPF 30. If you are going to go out though for a ball game, you're going to go out for golf though, you might want to cover up with an additional layer of sunscreen just in case because of sunscreen to put on. And if you're using a moisturizing lotion and you don't want to put too much on, you might want to still put another layer of sunscreen potentially. But if you're just going to go out to the office, be indoors for most of the day, this is fine itself, okay? Now this is not not water resistant. So just keep in mind that if you're gonna go for a run or go do some water play, don't wear this. Do a water resistant sunscreen, whether it's La Roche-Posay Anthelios or Blue Lizard, Neutrogena, Elta MD UV Sheer. If you wanted to do the Elta MD Mist, a spray. So there's a whole bunch, just make sure you, you see, look at the label and it says water resistant and it says water resistance, okay? Now at bedtime, after you cleanse, wash your face, you put on your topicals, say your retinoid, your alpha ret, or the prescription tretinoin that I'll give you, or adapalene 0.3% for your acne, follow up with a moisturizer. One of my favorite moisturizers out there would be Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream, Vana Cream's Facial Moisturizer, and CeraVe's PM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. This is one of my favorites here. Now this is very lightweight, and it has the three essential ceramides, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. So we have very similar ingredients, but you don't have the UV filters like the AM. So no sunscreen. So when you're looking at it, they make it very easy. AM, got the sun on it. This has sunscreen. The PM has the moon on it. This has no sunscreen. You don't need the sunscreen at nighttime, but it's so lightweight. I want to show you the texture of it right here. And it works well with other actives. If you want to do vitamin C again at bedtime, if you want to do your retinoid, if you want to do the prescription topicals for acne, look at that. So gentle. The VE and CeraVe, it's not CeraVe, CeraVe is MVE technology, multi-vesicular emulsion, which you have these concentric spheres filled with hydrating and moisturizing ingredients. So it will slowly release into your skin, hydrating and moisturizing the skin for 24 hours. So you got the ceramides and the MVE technology. Boom, that's CeraVe. The AM lotion, I wanna show you the texture of. This one, you can see here, comes out thick because that's like the, the zinc oxide UV filter. I put a quite a bit on the back of my hand, but I wanna show you, you just keep rubbing that in, that just blends in very nicely. So that will layer well with your topicals. So if you're a senior dermatologist, you're not sure what to use, you can totally go ahead and get both AM and PM. If you already have a good moisturizer, you don't have to do the PM, but the PM also reminds me of like the PM therapy by LTMD, which has niacinamide as well. Very lightweight, very gentle, much higher price point, but I love that one. It's a near perfect moisturizer. But if you want affordability, you want to start your kids off in skincare, you don't want to break the bank, go ahead and try this one. And this can be used in the morning as a moisturizer. Say you want to do a dedicated sunscreen. You could do cleansing your serum, moisturizer, use the PM, and then put your sunscreen over that. This layers very well. So hope that clears things up. Hope this video is helpful. Thanks guys for watching the channel. Please share with your friends who are in the skincare or wondering what CeraVe product to get in terms of moisturizing sunscreen versus just the moisturizer. What's the difference between AM and PM? Hope this clears it up. Please hit the like button. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys for the next video. Enjoy the summer guys. Peace.